Oh, okay. It's a lot. Okay, we have the world. And then the musician is here. Yeah. Somebody have completed a cycle. This could be you that completed this cycle. The world is here. This is like, you know, completions, ending our old cycles, walking into a new cycle. And um, they see you in this musician energy. They seen after you completed a toxic cycle, they've been seeing you manifest uh, using your creativity, getting messages from above. And um, being able to manifest whatever you want for your future after completing a toxic cycle out that you didn't even know you were in, you know, breaking a generational curse up off of you. And um, yeah, as I said, walking into a whole nother cycle, somebody is watching you in this energy. They look at you as, you know, someone who completed a cycle and you've been able to manifest after completing um, that cycle that you were in. Yeah, Seven of Swords. You were with someone that was very sneaky and deceptive. Someone that lied on you, cheated on you, they stole from you. And they would do a lot of stuff, cause a lot of commotion behind the scenes. If you didn't, if you, um, and they would act like they haven't did anything. And they didn't only do this to you, they would do this to other people too. This is somebody that was very sneaky and deceptive. So if it was, you know, stuff that they would do behind the scenes... Anytime you ask this person, they lie. And it was petty stuff. And they would just lie. Do stuff behind your back. And it's like later you will find out that this person had done lied about it. And it would be small stuff. So you like, you know if this person lied about something small, they're, you know, capable of lying about something big to you. And that's what you will always think. Like you can just imagine how, you know, how much this person will lie about something that's real big versus... This little small stuff they will get caught up in. <laughs> yeah, temperance is here. This person was secretly like, you know, could have been pouring stuff in your drinks to get you to be attached to them. And you completed a toxic cycle with this person. This was an overdue cycle that needed to be completed. You didn't even know they were being this, this sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes by pouring stuff in your um, drinks to keep you attached to them. They wanted you to be seen, to look at them in certain lights that was not their own so they can keep causing this confusion and this commotion. And they would act like they didn't do it or they didn't do this and that. And they would just keep being at this seven of swords, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes with you, lying to you, cheating on you, stealing from you. And it would be small stuff. And you could just, that's all I keep hearing. You could just imagine the big stuff that this person had done hid and lied about. Yeah, but you let that go. You started investing in yourself, building on yourself. And um, you were sitting back watching, waiting on your investments to come in. You were starting investing in whatever it is you wanted out of life. And um, Seven of Pentacles and then the Lovers is here. So, yeah, this is, um, somebody wants to invest with you as well. This could be someone that you're supposed to be in union with, with this lover's card. Someone you have a deep connection with. The lover's is, um, somebody you could be connecting with, you know, this year. This is year number six. And as you see, the six is on, you know, this, the number on this card is six. And then the lover's is here. This is someone that you have a deep connection with. And um, you're going to be connecting with this person. This person is going to come towards you. The fool card is here. They're going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're supposed to be on a journey with you. Um, this person is going towards a whole nother direction in life. And then the fool card, queen of cups. This person has a lot of emotions for you. This could be someone that you have love for as well with this Queen of Cups energy. They look at you as someone that's very loving, caring, a mother. Someone that pours out love to a lot of people. Um, and you also pour out love to yourself. Someone that's very um, empathetic. 
someone that's very in, intuitive. This Queen of Cups is, is typically a psychic. Someone that's very emotionally balanced. And um, they speak from their heart. They do things from their heart. And they um, they look at people instead of, they see the good in people instead of the, you know, bad things that people do. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Yeah, this is someone that they, they know that you and them are destined to be together. Yeah, Four of Pentacles is here. This person has been at the Four of Pentacles, hold, like keeping you near and dear to their heart. Because they know about this destiny. They know about um, your, you and this. They know about your purpose. The journey. Five of Wands is here. This person is keeping you near and dear to their heart because they feel like there's a lot of people competing with them. Secretly, five of wands for you. Yeah, the devil. Oh, three of cups, three of wands, and nine of wands, and five of pentacles. Whoa, it's a lot. This could be somebody that's a friend of theirs with this three of cups energy. Five of Pentacles and Three of Wands. They knew this person made a decision or they knew this person uh, had love for you. Or, you know, they knew that the feeling was mutual. The lovers is here. Two people that have a mutual love connection, a strong bond. They knew that you and this person had love for each other. So they made a decision to try to have you and this person feel left out in the cold. Whoever this friend uh, is. Three of Cups is here. This was a third party individual. And um, they wanted both you and this person to feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They they thought that you wouldn't know what was going on and that person wouldn't know. But it's like, this person know. I'm there holding that to them. <laughs> yeah, this person knew. Four of Pentacles is here. I'm there holding this to their heart. They don't want people to know. <laughs> and it's like, the people that they don't want to know is the people that's at the Five of Wands. They know. And that's why they're at the Five of Wands. I'm this person didn't possibly know. Yeah, the hermit is here. They were keeping it hidden. They were keeping that in the dark. And they also, uh, this person somebody that possibly ghosted you. This hermit card talks about ghosting, like ghosting someone, disappearing. Also talks about going within to investigate. So this person, it needed to happen because this person already knew. It's like they already knew about the destiny, will of fortune. They knew that they were destined to be with you. They knew you and them shared the same soul. And these people were behind the scenes obsessing to compete with this person, to send conflict to you and this person, to keep y'all feeling left out in the cold figure. This person wouldn't come towards you or they wouldn't, you know, come around you. They would never know that y'all share the same soul. This person knew. You knew. It's like two people already knew. The connection that you and this person have is strong. Y'all could be the type of people that y'all can talk to each other um, telepathically. And y'all have a deep connection. So it's like you could be thinking something in your head and this person, you know, it, it's, I can't explain it, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm so done. <laughs> yeah, Page of Swords, yeah. Page of Swords, Six of Wands, and Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, this person look at you as someone that's very successful. Um, they look at you as someone that they, you know, hold in high honor. They put you on a pedestal. And they look at you as someone that's having victory. You could be doing something online. Yeah, and a lot of people, groups of people show love to you. And you're doing something online, social media. You could have a platform, Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, and then Page of Wands. I mean, Page of Swords. So it's like, yeah, you're doing something online. A lot of people were spying on you. This could have been a group of people that was spying on you or watching you. And they see you as this star. They see you as the one that's very healing and um, very blessed. Yeah. The, the, with this, this person is pouring something into the wild. They could have seen you go through different things these people that were watching you online and they seeing you heal from whatever it is you went through 
No matter what you had and went through, you still poured our love to yourself and you still pour our love to other people. The star card is here. You're a healer. You're someone that was destined to um, help people get woke, help people spiritually cleanse their self. And a lot of people look up to you for that. They could have been watching you and as you were doing different stuff online and that admired them, inspired them um, to want to heal and cleanse their self and get spiritually naked. Seven of Cups is here. And then Two of Cups is here. Yeah. It was a lot of confusion going on around you and this person. They knew that you and this person was supposed to partner up, but they, I keep getting that they didn't know this person already knew. This person knew. <laughs> A lot of people didn't know. This person possibly act like they didn't know nothing. They kept it, you know, to their self. They don't want people to know. But people knew. And that's why they got behind the scenes and did all of this. To confuse you and this person. Because they knew y'all were supposed to partner up. Y'all were supposed to work together. And they knew that you and this person would, you know, share the same soul. Or, um... They knew y'all had a deep connection or, you know, a deep bond. And y'all both genuinely had love for each other. Two people will be coming together to express the way they feel about each other. And they wanted to keep y'all confused. These could have been people that wanted to be options in you and this person's life. Yeah, Four of Cups is here. They wanted this person to reject you. They wanted you to feel rejected. They wanted this person to feel rejected. They wanted you to miss an opportunity with this person. They wanted this person to miss opportunity with you. And they would have you and this person confused. But this person's at the Four of Pentacles. They already knew. <laughs> and then Queen of Cups, you're someone that's a psychic. It's like you already knew. Or this person is this Queen of Cups. You have to just take it where it resonates. You could be this Four of Pentacles and that person could be the Queen of Cups. And you and this person are supposed to partner up. <laughs> um, people wanted y'all to feel confused. Yeah, the Empress is here. And then Queen of Swords is here. Nine of Cups. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, yeah, this person was sitting back watching you as wish fulfillment. This could have been a... um. Masculine energy, feminine energy, it's just all energy. It could be a man, a man or a woman. But whoever this person is was sitting back watching you as wish fulfillment. And they didn't want people to know. This is somebody that's confused. They don't know what they want. If this is a woman, they're secretly attracted to the same sex and they don't want people to know. And that's why they were obsessed with um, competing with this person over you. This could have been somebody that was attached to this person that was at the Four of Pentacles that knew that you and this person um, knew that y'all had the same soul or, you know, y'all had a deep connection. And um, they were secretly in competition with that person and they didn't even know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Ten of Wands is here. They were trying to keep that person way down so they wouldn't come towards you. And they were at this Seven of Swords energy. It's like as you, you know, when you're going through this uh, spiritual warfare, surrounded by different karmics, and you have a twin or someone that you're supposed to be um, coming in union with, partnering up with, and doing different things that, you know, that you're destined to do with that person. It's like you'll have different people that will be connected to you, and they'll be at this Seven of Swords. They'll cause a lot of commotion, and they'll act like they don't know what happened. Why you're going through this. Why they're going through this. And they're the one who caused the scene. But in a sneaky deceptive way. So that person was keeping that person weighed down. With a lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see. And a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh. So they won't come towards you. They were burdening that person. Weighing that person down. Whoever this queen of swords is. Because they seen this person watching you at the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. They knew. But this person thought they were just keeping it to their self. And they were just sitting back, you know, nine of cups. A lot of people knew this person was watching them as wish fulfillment. 
I mean that uh, they were watching you as wish fulfillment. They knew. They didn't know that this person knew that y'all shared the same soul. That's where the confusion came at. They wanted to confuse this person. They didn't want this person to know that um, y'all had a destiny, a purpose. They just thought this person was sitting back um, watching you as wish fulfillment, admired by you. This person knew. The Wheel of Fortune and Four of Pentacles, they knew. Yeah, Page of Wands is here. Communication. Ooh, that's a lot. Two of Wands in the reverse. So it's like this person wants to communicate with you. Um, they could have got some type of communication from somewhere else. It could have been through a dream. Or this person is someone that... Um, they hold a lot of stuff to themselves. So if they find out information, they don't just go and tell people. If they do, they don't tell them everything. This person is somebody that, that tests people. And they'll tell them a little bit to see their reaction. Different stuff like that. And um, some type of message came through and this person is no longer at a stalemate waiting. Yeah, King of Cups is here. This person is your, you know, your divine counterpart. King and Queen of Cups. Yeah, and they had been holding on to this. They knew this entire time. Yeah. Queen of Swords and then this <laughs> Empress is here. This Empress could also be like a mother figure. This could have been somebody that was attached to the Seven of Swords energy. Could have been their mother or it could have been this person's mother. You have to take it where it resonates. This, per this queen of swords could be someone that was attached to them. It could have been a sibling. It could have been somebody that was a love interest. Somebody that they were, you know, into, like, having sex with. Could have been a friend. Just somebody that was attached to them that was, um, knew that this person was watching you at the nine of cups and they were trying to keep them way down from coming toward you. Yeah. They wanted this person to miss this opportunity. And it was because they had they thought they had some type of control over this person. Yeah, they kept getting readings, page of pentacles. These people thought that they would get some money from uh, a child. So this person could have been somebody that got pregnant. Or they were, you know, something about a pregnancy and then page of pentacles. This is like people... This page of pentacles could be reading, paying for a tarot card reading, but also this could be someone that um, they were going to use a child to get this person to give to them and keep giving to them. And they knew this person would take care of their responsibilities. Like this is someone that's a father, this king of cups energy, a father figure, a loving, caring father. 